Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Brawi Got This, and today we are going to be giving you a full crown store overview guide of what not to buy in the crown store, what is kind of borderline, and then what is something that is worth it in my opinion if you were to buy things in the crown store. Uh, as you guys know, you know my feelings of the cash shop or crown store, whatever you want to call it in ESO and in games in general. I am not a fan of this. I wish that it was not in the game. I think it devalues a lot of things in the game, uh, but I understand that these are kind of inevitable right now in gaming and uh, people, you know, gaming companies are gonna keep putting these in games because they make money and they want to make as much money as possible from a game. Please understand as well that with this video, uh, I know I'm gonna get some people that are like, please don't tell me how to spend my money, all that other stuff. But in general, I'm making this video because I really feel like a lot of new players get confused and they end up buying things they really shouldn't buy in the crown store because you can actually get them in the game. And so I'm hoping that this will help bring some sort of understanding on, hey, is this even worth me getting in the crown store? But real quick, I do want to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for all the support. If you'd like to become a patron, check out the link below in the description. Thank you to all my members as well. And you can watch me stream on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, at twitch.tv slash probably got this at various times. Tuesdays are evening streams. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are day streams. Uh, you can check out our website at probably as well. We're going to go through the things that you absolutely should not buy, uh, in my opinion. Then we're going to go into the borderline stuff. Then we're going to go into the things that I think are actually worth it. So the things that you should absolutely not buy in the crown store. Okay. The first thing crown crates. I think this is something that everyone knows about. Um, these are things that I know people like buying because it's essentially gambling. It's essentially, you know, you might get some crazy reward for them. But they are dog water when it comes to chances of actually getting things in this. They're just, they're not good. Um, you, you waste crowns buying these. I mean, this is $50 for 15 crates, guys. Like, this is just not worth it. It's never worth buying crown crates. If you're a new player, I would highly advise against it. Obviously, you can spend your crowns whichever way you want to spend them, but I advise not to spend crowns on crown crates. Something else, if you did not know, the crown crate items can actually be earned now through seals of endeavor granted you do earn these very slow comparatively to the prices that they give you but that is a free option to that is an option to get other crown items though other things you should not buy is essentially every single thing in the utility tab here you do not need crown supply kit giant size one you do not need experience scrolls you do not need respects at all, okay? You do not need any of this. The reason being is because you will get all of this in the utility tab in the daily rewards. I mean, look at this, y'all. Look at these daily rewards. Meals, tripods, repair kits, instant clothing research, you know, XP scrolls. You do not need to buy anything in the utility tab, especially respects. Respects, you're gonna get at least one free one on each character that you level to 50 and it'll only cost a minimal amount of gold to respect your st uh, skills and your attributes and your cp you can go to any of the shrines in your capital cities for automated minutes elden root right here and you can respec okay so do not buy these it is a waste of crowns it is a waste of money that's seven dollars you don't need to buy that you do not need to buy this you do not need to buy any of this okay I'm telling you, these are a waste of money. Next thing, mimic stones, research, and motifs are all things you should not buy in my opinion, okay? Motifs, if it's like a special one and you really, really want it, okay, I can understand that. That is up to you. But all of these motifs are earnable in the game, okay? You can buy them with gold. You can also earn them. Especially, y'all, do not buy these motifs right here. This is the regular race motifs. These are $5 a piece. You can get these motifs for less than like 200 gold a piece in the game. Literally, it's so easy to get these. Don't buy these from the crown store. You don't need motifs. Mimic stones, you don't really need mimic stones. You can buy the uh, the item that you need to make a certain uh, style of armor. And that's the thing. Most people don't even know about master rits. So mimic stones are, in my opinion, are just worthless. You don't need them. Uh, research, you'll get a lot of these in your daily rewards. 
dies. All the dies, in my opinion, that they sell in the crown store honestly look terrible. I would not buy any of these. Don't buy them. There's tons of earnable dies in the game. Hey, let's go to special offers. Starter pack is a waste of time. These things will, uh, you'll get this in your daily rewards. Same with Stable Master Bundle. I don't recommend buying that. Um, and Starter Pack Adept is kind of borderline, but I really, you really don't need this. Other things that are not worth it, in my opinion, name and race change. Uh, you might as well uh, just get the Any Race, Any Alliance bundle because this is $15 more. Like, I don't think that's worth it. Um, alliance token change, same thing. Appearance change, same thing. And I, yeah, I just don't really think a lot of these are worth it um, unless you desperately need them. I mean, they're just so expensive. Um, skill lines, I don't think these are worth it because you can just do them on your character. It just I, If you want convenience, then fine, but I don't think they're worth it, especially Curse of Vampirism and Werewolf Bite. You can, in the skill line and all that stuff, you can get a bite in the game from someone. You can maybe pay them a little bit of gold and a lot of people will do it for free. Don't get these in the crown store, okay? Sky Shard, same thing. I don't think they're worth it. Um, I'm not trying to buy these for other characters. Um, they can be worth it for some people if you want, but again, I just think you should get them on the character. Um, this is just a convenience thing. Now let's move on to the things that are borderline. A lot of things that fall in borderline are opinion-based uh, items, okay? Uh, some of these things are going to be worth more to some people than other people, but I'm gonna give you my opinion on it and what it's worth to me. So. Uh, this, some things in that category might be uh, totally not worth it for some players and in other players there might be like wow I really want that so borderline thing any race any race any alliance bundle um, this is kind of borderline because it really depends on uh, you know if you really want this it's a name and a race change um, to be honest like some people think this should be free uh, you're gonna get treasure maps. You're gonna get XP scrolls, right? You're gonna get some other cosmetics but You're really doing it for the name and race change. This is borderline in my opinion because it really depends on what you actually want uh, And if you even need to do that, I've only done this one time I think in the whole game, so I don't think it's really worth it Assistance in my opinion assistants are borderline. Okay, they are cool Okay, I think all of these except for the merchant I was gifted so I think the banker was gifted to me but these are borderline. They, they're cool, they're handy, but there's so many players that have these in the game that you really don't need them. You could literally, if you play in a group, you could ask, be like, anyone have a merchant or a banker? Almost every time someone's gonna be like, yeah, I do. So these are borderline in my opinion. It's $50 for these, y'all, $50. Character slots are borderline depending on what you actually need them for. If, since the army system came out, you don't need as many characters anymore, but if you want a full slot of characters, these are definitely needed because you're gonna have to get them at some point. The collector's packs are borderline because a lot of these are just cosmetic in nature. The bag space upgrades uh, right here and bank space upgrades are something that you really don't need um, because you can get them with in-game gold. I'm pretty sure this bag space was actually gifted to me uh, as a joke. So that's the reason this is here. But these, the bank space and the bag space is just something I really don't think it's worth it. Um, it could be borderline though, but you really can earn this in game with gold. I think outfit slots are borderline as well. I don't ever buy these, but some people find value in them. This is how you save multiple outfits on one character, but you can just keep switching it out and you don't really need it. Okay, writing lessons are borderline because again, the writing is, uh, like this mount upgrades in this game are extremely frustrating and slow. So these uh, could be borderline, uh, depending on if you just want to spend it on that, but I wouldn't in my opinion. Houses, houses are borderline. The reason they're borderline is because they are expensive. But if you save up your crowns from ESO Plus and you wanna buy a house with crowns, then I think that's definitely justifiable, but they are so expensive and some of these you can buy with gold. So that's why I put it in the borderline category. The same thing goes with house guests um, and all of the dis different cosmetic kitchen sets and all sorts of stuff. A lot of these sets um, are borderline or all these sets are basically borderline because it's it, a lot of people find different value in this kind of stuff, but you can get a ton of furnishings in game and you don't necessarily need these sets. Same with house guests. I don't really think there's any point to have a house guest, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's kind of useless. Um, it's just a cosmetic thing, but they're expensive, y'all. That's $15. Like, that's $15. That's just so expensive, right? 
All the adornments, the emotes, the hairstyles, the markings, the personalities, and the skins are borderline. I have bought some of these obviously in the past. Uh, some have been gifted to me, I think, but I have bought some of these because some of them are actually cool and they're reasonably priced. Like these are like $3, okay? That's better than 15, right? So I've bought some of these before. Um, I think they're borderline. It depends on what you actually want from it though. Then with the costumes, hat, and outfit styles, these are also borderline as well because some of these are reasonably priced and it depends on if you just want that cosmetic look or not. Same thing goes with mounts and non-combat pets. All of these are borderline because if it's the mount that you want, at least you're buying it straight up instead of gambling on the crown crates. I think that that's a step up at least. I don't really think pets are as borderline. I think they're really just something you shouldn't buy because you get so many from uh, daily rewards and end game, in my opinion, and just different promotionals as well. Okay, moving on to things that I think are actually solid buys, okay? I think that these inventory pets are actually solid because they go on all characters account wide, okay? They're 1,200 crowns, and they give you five extra slots on all characters. That's why I think these are worth it. If you had to do this for each character, definitely not worth it. Um, into the special category here, uh, I do think that the Aetherial Well is probably a good buy for some people, but if, you, if your guild already has it, you do not need this. Um, so most people, this is not gonna be a good buy for, but for other people, you could uh, actually you know, get this for your guild and uh, a lot of people can get use out of it, but it's not for the most part. Army Station, obviously free, so you definitely want that. That's a great uh, free purchase. Any upgrades? Armory slots, I think, are actually worth it. Um, they're 1,500 crowns, and this allows you to do multiple builds on one character. I think that's totally worth it, in my opinion. Classes, Necromancer and Warden class, great upgrades if you don't already have them. These classes are fantastic. These will actually give you playtime in the game. DLC is the other massive uh, worth it thing to me, in my opinion. Um, if you don't have ESO Plus, DLCs will allow you to buy these outright, and you will always have them forever, no matter if you have ESO Plus or not. Um, I just think DLCs are solid because it gives you the outright DLC. Um, if you have ESO Plus though, you really don't need to buy them, but in my opinion, these are worth it uh, for some of the crowns that you can spend for them. And the last thing that are worth it, in my opinion, are storage chests. Um, I think these are fantastic. A lot, Some of these have actually been gifted to me, but these will give you a lot of storage for extra storage for your character. This is a great way if you don't have ESO Plus as well. Um, I love having storage chests but that really wraps up what's worth it in the crown store y'all that was literally like a few items uh again i just i don't think that the crown store is something that a lot of players understand especially newer players and as a community we really need to get behind some of these new players and even players that are coming back and show them like hey ask us before you buy something because i'm it's most likely something that's not worth it uh so i hope this guide helped you all out i hope that it was something that will help you this year uh, if it is make sure to like subscribe heavy attack that bell icon to stay up to date on all the content in the channel please share the video please show this to someone else uh, because i think it will be something that players will have questions of but until next time y'all just remember to have faith be great and i'll see you on eso